Disturbing findings now about the prevalence of mental illness cases among children. A report from the Caribbean Policy Research Institute, CAPRI, shows that Jamaica is far outside international standards in addressing mental health issues in children. As Shamela Pullen now reports, the report also pointed to a shortage of experts to address this problem. The latest findings by the Caribbean Policy Research Institute, CAPRI, show that of Jamaica's 800,000 children, approximately 20% have a mental disorder and 5% or 40,000 children have some serious mental disorders. Other studies have told us that of adolescents, over, just over 1,000 adolescents, approximately 15% display depression and anxiety symptoms. Another survey in 2019 assessed broader indicators of emotional and mental well-being showed that 45% of adolescents had consistently experienced anxiety symptoms ranging from feelings of nervousness, restlessness, worry and annoyance. On Tuesday, Capra launched the Mind the Gap, the Inadequacy of Mental Health Services for Children report, which also shows 60% of children in state care developed psychosocial problems. Director of Research Dr. Diana Thorburn says 76% of children in the criminal justice system show maladaptive behaviors. Capra says only 8% of children's mental health needs are being met. The report also pointed to a major deficit of child mental health professionals. There is one child psychiatrist to every 267,000 children with mental problems. There are three general psychiatrists, three other general psychiatrists, who have received additional training in child and adolescent psychiatry, but who have not received the certifications to be formally classified as child and adolescent psychiatrists. There are approximately 94 practicing psychologists and counselors in Jamaica and 28 psychiatrists overall. Of this number, based on our research, only 12 clinicians provide services predominantly for children. Six psychiatrists, 12 clinicians for 160,000 children. This is a wide gap. There are 23 child guidance clinics across the island which see 8,000 children annually. The report says this is substantially lower than the estimated 160,000 children who need psychosocial care. Further, the child guidance clinics have challenges in responding adequately to demand with chronic staff deficiencies, reducing the possibility of successful outcomes for the children who do access their services. The opening hours are inconvenient, there are long waiting lists, and low client retention. Children outside of the KSA and St. Catherine area have less, accesses, have less access to these and other services. There are other services available, which we have factored into our tally, but these do little to put a dent in the shortage of services available. Director of Child and Adolescent Mental Health at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Judith Leiber, says the resources devoted to addressing mental health issues in children are inadequate, but the ministry has tried other initiatives to help reach out to affected children. But in recent years, the ministry has really stressed mental health by the initiation of our helpline, Mental Health and Suicide Prevention Helpline, open to all ages the um, establishment or initiation of a destigmatization um, public relations project, which, we, which should redound to the good of all our children and adolescents who suffer from these disorders. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.